What is up guys, it's Modernized God of War here, and we are about to play Fallout 4. Now this will be something worth worth seeing. Uh, the only add-ons I have right now is uh, Wasteland Workshop, but I will be getting Far Harbor and Automatron. Hopefully sometime soon. But yeah, let's start a new game. I remember first playing this game, it was so epic. I didn't think I didn't think I'd grow attached to it as much as I have. How long has it been since it came out? It came out in November. And ever since then I've been attached to it. You can ask Boss E D U. Come on! Hate loading screens. It still gives me chills every time we start a new game. Let's do this. War. War never changes. War never changed. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, Pip boy in the 21st century. Imagine if everything was like how the 50s, like the people in the 50s and 60s years had imagined. consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire what if the world really was really like Bob? That would suck. Peace. For most people became a distant memory. Some people would get a kick out of killing creatures every day. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, It's that war. War never changes. Oh, is that power armor? Alright, let's get to it. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. All right. All right let's see. Let's go through some of the faces. I'll just go back to the normal one. Don't see nothing. All right. We'll work with this face. Hey, God's word. Mm. 
I don't think I made much difference, but oh well. Such a cute nose. Aye. Uh, you're too kind. All right, let's see. I never was good at sculpting. Well, in a video game, like base morphing, Not bad. Not like with all bad. Skyrim and stuff. Just change this here. Makes you look younger. And let's see. Why does your face look crusty and oily? Huh? You're gonna have to fix that, sir. Well, hello, handsome. <laughs> Don't call yourself handsome, sir. You're gonna have Steel. your eyes. They're one of my favorite things about you. Why, thank you. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> your eyes. That's the reason I said yes when you asked me out. <laughs> uh, it's so corny. Okay. Extras, markings. Oh, no. No freckles. No freckles at all. I'm gonna try to make my dude as much like me as possible. Yes, I am black. <laughs> For, for those of you that don't know. Oh, no, you got a lot of symptoms. Sun scorch, nope. Red nose, nope. Little splotches. Damage. What do you think, hon? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? Yeah, we gonna have a few war scars. Hey. Yeah, we gonna have these scars. I always wanted to put this on one of my people, the fourth smile, be like the Joker, sort of. But anyway, let's continue. Body, we're going to make him all the way muscular, even though I'm not mm, that much muscular. But, who cares. I don't know if I should customize the wife, I mean... For those of you that don't know, um, uh, anyway. Oh, facial hair, facial hair, facial hair, facial hair. Let's see. I almost forgot about one of the most important things. Facial hair. Yeah, I'll just give him a little longer. I like this rough. It's cute. Hey. Alright. Now, since we got our war packed hero, let's see what we can do with the wife. Hey, my turn, big guy. Alright. Let's see. Go through the faces first. Ooh, hello. Oh. Uh, e. uh. Oh. 
Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Doesn't she look like one of the avatars and blue people? Oh. Mm. Oh, Snowflake. Don't change that skin color though. Don't make you darker. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Exactly. Wait, who? <laughs> Might as well should have waited for the other one. You hairstyle? Love it. Definitely should have waited for the other one. You saved a lot of time. We're gonna make you have red eyes, okay? Never mind. Let's see. Oh my god. That's just plain scary. And I think Sean has my eyes. No, he doesn't. Mm -hmm. My God, all these blemishes. You're, you're beautiful, darling. Don't worry. You barely notice a thing. You're beautiful. Ah! You're beautiful. Ah! Oh, I think I just let it all back. You're beautiful, darling. I think my dude still has his dude. Not pre do not press circle after you do a whole bunch of stuff. Cause uh looking good. It's gonna end up erasing everything you put on. <laughs> Alright, let me go back to Let me just slide in here. Don't look at me like that. Supposed to be a beautiful man. Looking good, if I do say so myself. How did I not notice the scars, though? Yeah. The scars would have been more dead after I. All oh, right. You have such a strong chin. No freckles. Do I? I clean up pretty nice. Alright, so we have everything together, I guess. And we're gonna exit this. Okay. So. I'll pick this back up uh, in a little bit. Uh, I just wanted to cut this off right here since we had limited time. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, leave a like, and tune in next time with Fallout 4.